Following the story of Chinese Space Lab. Ryan Burrow, are we safe? We're safe. Uh, no need to look up at the sky anymore for falling safe, uh, space debris. Uh, it entered the Earth's atmosphere around 8.15 Eastern time last night, uh, and most of it did burn up in the atmosphere as expected. Whatever was left over crashed into the Pacific Ocean. So uh, no need to, uh, to flee the area. It seems like uh, the all clear has been given. Uh, the Midwest was in some, at least some danger, were they not? Yeah, yeah, from uh, South Dakota, uh, Minnesota, even southern Michigan. Uh, actually, in, in Michigan, they actually put out an emergency response just in case uh, something did fall. Now, I, I want you to keep in mind, your uh, odds of getting hit by a piece of space junk that falls out of the sky is more than one in a trillion, so uh, you could win the Powerball uh, many times <laughs> over. In fact, only one person has ever been hurt by a piece of uh, uh, space junk that has fallen from the sky, and it was in the United States in the 70s, and that person wasn't seriously hurt. So uh, the odds aren't great, but still, you, you don't want uh, uh, something the size of a school bus falling down to the earth and landing in some kind of major metropolitan area uh, was not the case here, but it's always a concern. Yeah. Uh, what was the what was wrong with this Chinese space lab? So this was their first space station. They launched it in 2011, and it was pretty much defunct since 2016. They built a second space station, and that's now where they're uh, holding most of their operations. Uh, We don't exactly know the specifics of what remains on that space station, because keep in mind, the information we're getting is still from the Chinese government. So, uh, you know, you got to kind of take that uh, at its word or or however you feel. In fact, they alerted the U.N. about this space station coming uh, coming into the Earth's atmosphere, and it's one of those things where... I guess we got to trust them, you know, yeah. as best we can. While all the tariff stuff is going on, while, uh, you know, there, there might be some kind of uh, political wranglings going on, you just got to kind of trust their space agency. Now, we do have independent space agencies in the United States uh, that did monitor it, and uh, to the best of their judgment, their calculations seem to pinpoint exactly where this thing was falling, and it did. So uh, from that perspective, an independent perspective, I, I guess uh, a thumbs up. They, they feel like they did a pretty good job. Ryan Burrow, thanks for checking in, and glad right. I can take my help. Helmet off now. Now I'm safe. <laughs> Please.